Welcome once more to Speak Easy. I am still Paul F. Tompkins, and with me here today, the legendary Weird Al Yankovic. Cheers, first Cheers. of all. Cheers, absolutely. Uh, thank you. You have you have selected this drink. Well, not specifically. I just said make it as fruity and girly as possible because I'm not a drinker per se. But once a month, I have an alcoholic beverage. You make it I... sound like it's some sort of supernatural curse. This is all I can have <laughs> this month. There's a movement afoot to get you to play the halftime Super Bowl. Yeah, I've heard about this. Now, if the Council of Super Bowlians says to it, you, uh, Al, will you please play uh, the Super Bowl halftime show? It's would a two-part you... answer. Number one, of course, I wouldn't turn oh, that down. Okay. I thought you were going to be more wiggly and weasly. <laughs> two-part answer. Well, number one, yes. <laughs> the second part is it's never going to happen. They will never do this. Why do you say that? Because... <laughs> I just cannot fathom that ever happening. You think it's more serious people like uh, the just, Black Eyed Peas? Yes, yes. <laughs> there are people that come along and they do their funny little song parodies and things like that. No one has touched Weird Al since you well, started. Well, I've got a restraining order. <laughs> that, <laughs> well, that, that, that's that literal. Okay, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't realize. <laughs> it's kind of amazing that you have, you've been doing this thing to such a successful degree. You know, most people that you know have an affection for Weird Al, so I don't think it's that crazy. You have turned me around, sir. <laughs> I now feel it is my God-given right to That's play the Super Bowl. Exactly. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Thank you. Thank you, you for making take me take the Super light. Bowl. Yes. I'm going to take a drink on that one. Oh. Oh. Mm. A celebratory oh. Oh. <laughs> champagne cobbler sip, of course. I am totally wasted now. You're feeling that, that's right? That's all it takes. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's all it takes. Wasted me is completely the same as normal me, so you're not going to be probably even tell the difference. And have you been just flat out drunk? The closest I've ever been to drunk was on the air for the MTV uh, Mardi Gras cover. Oh, sure. They set us up in this room, a bar actually, and they didn't supply breakfast, no Danish, no croissant, <laughs> nothing. But it was all the hurricanes you wanted. <laughs> Not a crumb of food no, to be No, 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 but you know, hey, help yourself. And it's like, oh, these have to be nutritious a little bit, sure. By noon, downtown Julie Brown and I are just slurring and just fumbling over ourselves. Hey, I'm TV Hey! My wow. shame was there for all to see. So you haven't uh, felt compelled to go back to that experience? At this point in my life, I don't want to be around like a horde of young, extremely drunk people. I don't like being headbutt that much. Yeah. It, it, just, <laughs> it does not appeal to me anymore. What is the level to which you feel you've been headbutted enough? <laughs> like how do you, is Let me a, show you, come here. Oh, sure. <laughs> In addition to original songs that you write, yes. you're very well known for your parody songs, and that gets a little dicey sometimes, and some people uh, are not on board with it at first. And Who? It's, I well, want names. <laughs> Who well, is not on board with this? Been a few, like Lady Gaga was not on board at first but then came around. I know there's been other people, right, that were not on board at first. I think Coolio was not on board right. at first, and then he came around. Right, well, back to the Lady Gaga thing, apparently it was her manager that was not on board, and Lady Gaga. See? See, see how that works? Yeah. And it was Coolio's uh, evil twin that was not on board for the first 15 years. And then the real Coolio came out and said, oh, this guy is crazy. No, <laughs> I'm fine with it. Uh, he hates money, this he guy. Hates <laughs> Get out of here! Because there is, there's fees that are paid to uh -huh. the record company and everything. It's all. It's I all. made Michael Jackson the big bucks. He was a, basically a popper before I came along, <laughs> and uh, he made enough money to buy the other glove finally. That's right. so, just in time. Just in time. The way you usually operate, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is you do the song first, and then it's submitted to the people. Well, I don't generally do the whole song oh. in advance because I don't want to expend a lot of energy and time sure. if in fact they are humorless weasels. That only makes sense. Basically, I come up with a concept. Either I or my manager will pitch the concept to the artist or the artist's peeps, and if they're cool with it, then there's never been a case where they weren't fine with the finished song. Right. Now with the Gaga thing, it was sort of like, no, we need to hear it. It's like, oh, you need the lyrics. Okay, well, uh, well here are the lyrics. Like, you know, we need to actually hear it. Like, you know how the song goes, right? It's, <laughs> right. If you put the lyrics together with the song uh. in your head, I won't have to go through all the trouble of actually going into a studio, spending time and money, and, and it was like, wow. if, if we don't hear it, the answer is no. Wow. That was it. The punchline is, after all that, they still said no. But then Lady but Gaga But then Lady Gaga yes. heard it and said yes. There's a lot of people doing spoofs or spoofs. I'm not sure what the correct <laughs> spoofs. Spoofs. It's been easier than ever for people to make their own stuff, put it up online, and get it in front of everybody. Did you eventually get to a point where you just had to completely tune that out? Every now and then, I mean, I'll come across some stuff. And, well, most of the time, this is people trying to like give me ideas, which is also the bane of my existence. If you yeah. can imagine being me for a split second, like any time I walk out in public, somebody has had this brilliant idea <laughs> since the third right. grade. Oh, if I ever run into Al Yankovic on the street, I'll have to tell oh. him about this. And is it like old songs? Yeah, it's like, like <laughs> oh, I got a pretty for Thriller. This will be good. You could do it about Phyllis Diller. You see, but it's thriller. Wow. And well, it's, could there be anything else that's an older <laughs> reference in there? As timely today as ever. <laughs>
to your knowledge, has any of the people that you have done parodies of their songs, have they ever done your version in concert? The presidents of the United States of America, they did Lump and they did Gump. They incorporate at least the last line of my parody. And that's all I have to say about that. Well, so that, that became the official new ending <laughs> for the song. I would say then the gauntlet has been thrown to Lady Gaga, the least you can do. Perform this way. Perform this way. At the Super Bowl. <laughs> With me That's, next year. There we go. Boom. Weird Al, thank you so much. <laughs> Let's get you drunk. Cheers. <laughs> That's Speak Easy. We will see you next time. I feel like downtown Julie Brown. Oh. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Wubba wubba. <laughs>